Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things that you may not have noticed when playing your favourite games. In today's video, we show off in Spider-Man Miles Morales, we find a guy who has a serious love of snacks in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and we pay close attention to the rain in Astro's Playroom. As always, if you think you know of a detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you do want to enjoy this video, then leaving a like, subscribing, or turning notifications on is really appreciated. Oh, and if I do sound a little different today, please bear with me, I have a cold. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, when compared to the details on show in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Cold War doesn't quite stack up, but it does have some cool things that you may not have noticed. Up first are a couple of lines of dialogue that you may have missed when playing Cold War's excellent campaign, the first of which can be heard on the echoes of a Cold War mission. After Mason falls from the zip line, he has to enter a tunnel while talking to Woods. Here is how the conversation goes. Status. Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay sharp. I'll see you when I see you. So the two plan to regroup inside. Well, if you're in no mood to hang around and push ahead, the conversation will go like this instead. Mason, what's your status? Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay Woods. <sighs> Great. So due to Mason being deeper in the tunnel, the conversation is cut short thanks to radio interference. I really like this detail, as whilst there is nothing gained from listening to the full conversation, it's still a conversation a lot of people may miss. The next detail focuses on more dialogue that you may not have heard. As Mason and Woods approach a group of enemies, Woods suggests taking them out together. Well, if you're quick enough, you can take them out on your own, causing Woods to say this. Damn, Mason, save some for me. That's not the only time that Woods is impressed with your shooting. On the red light, green light mission, taking the guards out before Woods will again leave him impressed. Two more out of the dog. Damn. So the next detail from Cold War is actually pretty strange. During the Brick in the Wall mission, you are tasked with identifying Franz Kraus. Kraus can of course be spotted near a checkpoint, but he's not who we're interested in today. At the same checkpoint, you can see a car being stopped. Now, the German police seem to be interested in what's inside the car's trunk. So let's have a look at what this man has to hide. So for some reason, the owner of the car seems to be smuggling Doritos and pretzels through the checkpoint. Why you ask? Well, I have no idea why. Our final Cold War detail is one that anyone who has played the previous Black Ops games should already know. On the Nuketown 84 map, you can do this. RCXD, driving out. So as was the case with the previous versions of Nuketown, a secret RCXD track can be used to get the drop on your enemies, which will never not be satisfying. Up next is a game that I can't stop playing, even though I've already unlocked the Platinum Trophy. Astro's Playroom is the free game that comes with every PlayStation 5, and as I've said before, don't let the fact that Astro's Playroom is free lead you to thinking that it's not worth your time because it most definitely is. Now, the detail from Astro's Playroom is one so subtle that I'd be surprised if any of you have noticed it. When it's raining in-game, take a look at the floor. Yeah. 
So when the raindrops hit the floor, they take the shape of PlayStation controller symbols. It's a really nice touch in a game that is essentially a tribute to all things PlayStation. Up next is Apex Legends. An underrated aspect of Apex Legends is the story the game tries to tell through, amongst other things, its in-game dialogue. Perhaps the most interesting relationship found in Apex is the one between Loba and Revenant. For those that don't know, Revenant killed Loba's parents in front of her, so it's safe to say Loba holds a grudge. This can be seen in the interactions the two have when thanking each other. I hope you don't expect me to thank you. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Well, on the recently released Olympus map, if you land at the Bonsai Plaza with Revenant and Loba on the same team, this will happen. Look familiar, Loba. Or oh, shame they lost the elevator. I'll see you back here after the match. I have something for you. Let's finish this. So Bonsai Plaza is actually the place that Loba's parents were killed, something which Revenant seems to be keen to remind her of. So the latest hero to be added to Apex Legends is Horizon, an offensive hero who is described as having an eccentric personality. Well, when you have Horizon selected at the game's menu, she will begin writing notes on her hand. What's really cool though, is that when playing as Horizon, if you inspect your weapon, you can see this. So when inspecting the wingman, you can see that there is actually writing on Horizon's hand, something that the developers could have easily overlooked. Next up is the excellent Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now when I said that Astro's Playroom was the best game I've played on the PS5, that's only because I played Miles Morales on the PlayStation 4. Yay for loopholes I guess. The first detail from Miles Morales can be found at the very beginning of the game. During Rhino's Rampage, he will take both Spider-Men on a detour through a mall, where this happens. So Rhino seems happy to plow into a pushchair carrying a baby. Luckily, Miles was there to save the day. Well, what happens if you fail the quick time event? Will Rhino do the unthinkable and crush the pushchair and baby inside? It fights me. Let me go. No, 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 move, move, move. So luckily, if you fail the QTE, regular Spider-Man will swoop in to make the save. So in 2018 Spider-Man game, Peter Parker had already been Spider-Man for some time, meaning that he was familiar with his powers and abilities. On the other hand, Miles is a relatively new Spider-Man who is still learning what he can and can't do. For example, when Peter Parker is performing tricks while swinging, he will never fall to the ground. No matter the trick he is performing, Peter will land on two feet. Well, if you do the same with Miles, this will happen. So Miles hasn't quite got the whole superhero landing thing down yet and falls to the floor. Also notice how Miles falling actually affects the snow on the ground, which again is really cool. So the final detail for today's video is probably the coolest looking detail I've ever featured on this channel. With the right button inputs, a guide for which I will leave in the description, you can recreate the exaggerated swagger of a black teenager. Weapon steel going down nearby. Thank you, anonymous app user. Oh, and just in case you didn't get the joke and think that I would ever say exaggerated swagger of a black teenager, check out GameSpot's review of Spider-Man Mars Morales and probably the comment section on this video where I'm sure it's going to be said thousands of times. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any Easter egg secrets or details that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know is in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of Easter eggs, secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.